Hello my soccer universe. Get ready for quite the story behind this parcel. What an odyssey this was. Now, um, I ordered this shirt because this was, um, it is a, of course a Premier League team that that in, in there I, I, I already thought I will need uh, an a jersey of this team, uh, a particular jersey. I will talk to you about this as well. And I had a hard time finding one that I really liked for a while. And then suddenly this one pops up and I had three options for this team. One to get uh, one in double XL a little bit too big, would it be but brand new, or there were two used ones. Uh, one that had a little flaw on the sponsor, the other one uh, look actually all right with the only flaw that it's an L. But then I said, I actually really start um, enjoying this team uh, and I really need a jersey, so let's do it. So I ordered this on a Sunday and uh, the, you know, even ask for pictures. Um, the problem was that um, I usually ask for pictures of the, of the tags, the seller had the tags cut out. However, from whatever was left and all the other pictures that he provided, I could authenticate the shirt. So I'm absolutely sure that this is a legit shirt. Uh, although it took me a while and and, on, and I, yes, full disclosure, I had to open this parcel or, or, already to uh, make absolutely sure because uh, it's bought second hand and you need to relatively quickly inspect and say this is every, 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 everything's okay, that the seller can be paid. However, <laughs> However, this was on a Sunday. On Monday, the seller sent the jersey to me. On Tuesday, and he, uh, it's not close to Linz, but it's the same province. It's just, you know, an hour, hour and a half. On Tuesday, it says it's out for delivery. I said, well, great. I really cannot wait, wait for it. And it was even so that I, uh, I thought I might not be at home at that point because we had uh, uh, um, something to do at school. However, we came back on time where I really thought, yeah, this will be all right. And then suddenly I get a notification on my phone that says uh, item could not be delivered because seller was not uh, because uh, recipient was not at home. Uh, recipient was notified. And what notified means that there is usually a yellow sheet in the mailbox and that you then can pick it up from the local post office. There was no yellow sheet. I'm looking at the app. It just says that I was not at home. Although I was at home. And my wife was at home. And it was even, uh, I was upstairs in my office. She was downstairs. So uh, that is completely ridiculous. The, uh, yes, it's not easy to find uh, our apartment, but uh, with the Austrian Postal Service, uh, this has not been a problem for a good two or three years uh, that we had that problem because it's well known that there's always someone to ask and you can. And the other thing is I allowed uh, the mail to just drop the parcels either on top of our mailboxes, which is not my preferred because this is very open, but uh, they sometimes do, or right in front of the entrance door. For some reason, the guy decided to take it home uh, or take it back to his uh, delivery base. So um, the next day, this was then the, so this was Tuesday. Next day, Wednesday, I decided, okay, I still have not re received a not notification. Let's contact the postal service. I decided to uh, do it for uh, chat because, you know, I, I never know how the phone signal is around here. So do it via the chat. And the guy says, yes, this is you can, it's ready to pick up at your local uh, postal uh, center at the railway station. Which, if you know anything about Linz, and most likely you will do not, I live in the very north of Linz, on the north side of the Danube. The railway station is a good 20 minute drive from here. And it's not my uh, postal, uh, <laughs> postal, postal shop that I use Yoshikos, because I have one that is, uh, yes, it's still uh, roughly uh, 5 to 10 minute drive, but it's relatively close here and every time I had to pick it from there. So I already said, are you sure this is not our usual stuff? And then I also pulled the building complaints. How can it be? No, no, it's there, it's there. And for your address, this is the shop, uh, this, this, this is the shop you've got there. I said, that is new. Maybe it has changed. Okay. 
so be it. Uh, I just say uh, thank you. I didn't want to argue anymore. And um, okay, I said, uh, and then I said, but I didn't receive a yellow sheet. No, no, you just uh, show your ID and we'll be fine. So on Thursday, so the next day, I'm going uh, lunchtime to that postal shop at the railway station where you have to pay for parking and all that kind of crap. Turns out there is nothing there. The lady there was really helpful and that's the other thing that now with the modernization the postal uh, workers seemingly become so superfluous there are already three postal shops in Vienna where there is no person anymore which I find so ridiculous because the postal worker for me is an essential uh, companion who they help you find the right way to send stuff and so often the machines are not wor wor working and um, over the years they have really ramped up their customer service. I'm a huge fan of the Austrian Postal Service because they really perform well. And that woman really went out, she said uh, she uh, looked up in their computer because they have even more uh, information there. Um, and yes, that it was at that uh, point I told her this was to, told me in the chat, I don't see this in the um, um, where uh, in, in in the tracking report and say yeah, I, the, the, and this guy now this those things are never in a track tra tracking report which um, doesn't make any sense to me either any case the woman very helpful um she even asked a colleague and they came to conclude no this parcel is not here please call the number so i called the number the lady, I explained to her, uh, of course, the, um, the tracking number is like a 20 digit uh, code, which I had to enter via phone. Uh, but uh, she was also, uh, yeah, she, she was a little bit out of it. But she said, yeah, okay, we'll call you back this afternoon. Of course, I didn't receive a call in the afternoon. I call in the afternoon again. They have no information and I call on Friday morning again. And ask what's happening and they really go they call in the postal shop there was uh, which is the main postal shop for Linz one has to say uh, at the railway station um, they cannot find the package there then uh, they say yeah we have to uh, call the base uh, and you will get a call back uh, for sure again in the afternoon of course in the afternoon it didn't so I call again in the afternoon I said, ah, you have to be very, very patient, but we, it is, we will track it. We, we just don't know where it is at the moment. And I was thinking, oh no, they lost that parcel. And uh, what makes this really, really bad is that at, um, if I don't receive the parcel via this second hand shop, I cannot have the, uh, the guy who sold me to pay it, which prob probably is good because at that point it keeps us both invested in investigating uh, this shirt. So, but it was definitely weird. And I said, yeah, by Monday. Okay, by Monday. I had given up on it. And so we are preparing a good, uh, nice evening and suddenly, uh, you know, uh, pulling the kids to bed. My wife is uh, just going, going on and she sees she was also waiting for a package. She sees her package on the door and then she finds this in front of the door and I say WTF. I had the picture of this parcel so I knew that this is the parcel. I haven't even realized that this is out for delivery. It was never written that it's out for delivery. Never. So of course I had to open it, uh, I checked it, but then I said okay I, I'm not gonna notify the guy. I but I could not say okay that this is that the, the guy gets paid. Uh, shirts are checked out fine. The next morning I get that it's delivered. Yay! <laughs> so uh, that could all be settled, but it gets even better. That parcel was left on Friday evening at a neighbor, not even living a remotely close. I mean, it's same complex, but not even living remotely close to where we are. And that was in the evening. What an odyssey. So yeah, with all the stories, sorry if I bored you about this one, but I think it's worth telling. Let me show you the shirt that I got um, for which English team. Ta-da, 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 da It is a double. It's a team that I wanted to get a second one. And of course, it is Spurs. It's the 1923rd jersey. I was looking at the 1920 away as well which is dark blue with purple and then the um, last season's yellow which i really really like however um all my women <laughs> said 
this is the color and I gotta say it is a special color in many ways so I'm very happy with this one there's also kind of quite the intricate pattern on there so yeah I'm quite happy uh, with having picked up this shirt um, yes L fits me a bit tighter than it should but overall I really really love this jersey it is blank and I think it also makes for another color splash back there so this is now my go-to Spurs alternate jersey very very happy to have it and last uh, the, uh, last week I really thought it's not gonna happen but here it is here it is very happy so yeah Spurs uh, who to be honest I come to like more and more I mean already human song is a is probably one of my favorite players for of uh, the entire prem the pre Premier League but also the Spurs and Lusk share certain traits like the Spurs nest is the same thing as with Lusk so I can feel quite some kinship with Spurs fans as well so yeah this was a long video a long story but I needed to tell this story in any case let me know if you had any trouble like this before. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know. And, and I, I, I probably should show, 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 show you a few more times. What do you think about this jersey? I, I personally, I really like it. Uh, I've never thought that I would get it. But the more I look at look, it, I, I really, really like it. And I have to say the camera doesn't pick up the color. as It, it, it is much more in your face then it looks uh, on the screen here, uh, at, uh, at least at least I'm watching here. So yeah, anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Oh, <laughs>